Hi all, today we will see how we can create and manage custom organization policies. So in the previous videos, we have seen the predefined organization policy. So in this video, we focus on custom organization policy. So a custom constraint is like it's created in a YAML file and which is specify the resources, method, conditions, actions, data subject to this constraint. And these are specific to the service on which you want to enforce the organization policy. So custom like if there are like we already know multiple constraint already provided by the Google, but if it doesn't support your need, you we can even create a custom also. And so which we can uh, manage our organization policies and that the custom constraint is always written in this common expression language. So we have to make sure that we are doing the correct format and all. So it is recommended that we must first test and try on all the changes for our organization to better understand the state of environment and how changes affect us. These services as of now supported custom constraint. So first one is like next generation firewall, cloud storage in cloud compute engine. We will see one or two example from this and how to use this. So let's go and let's first create a custom constraint. So I'm in my console. I have two VMs as of now, which are using it to my two machine uh, machine type. So what we are going to do, we are going to create a custom constraint. So we can go to organization policy at that and we can create custom constraint only at that organization level at the project level we don't have yet option so let me change this to my organization level so now i'm in my organization cloud concept so let's click on custom constraint first so we have to provide a name so let's give only allow e2 medium machine after that we have to give a custom id so custom will be prefixed in that so we can say like e2 medium And we can give a description like only E2 media machines are allowed. Machine type allowed. After that, we have to try uh, resource type on the which resource we have to apply. So these are the resources as of now, like this fire volume. So we have to choose instance here because we are uh, testing on a VM. After that, there are two options whether on enforce on create or enforce on create and update so for this specific we have only of this option enforce on create so whenever we create this it will check this policy and check whether it allow or not so in some condition there are on enforce on create and update option like maybe we can check inside which supports like maybe note note pool support this option so if you update a note pool also so it will check this constraint but we are going with instance click on this after that we have to define a condition you have to click here and for that condition uh, so whenever you want to provide a condition you can come here on the equivalent code and click on rest so it will give a, a rest format um, code for us so from this you can pick up anything which you want so for us we will go like this with the machine type so we will choose this machine type and e2 medium thing so you can choose and make your own uh, policy how you want to like multiple uh, conditions you can put we'll start like first of all resource dot machine type dot if of ends with So this is our condition we want a machine type which ends with e2 medium so this is the what it will check it will check this machine type and if it is adding with in that class e2 medium so it will be allowed to create a vm so if you want to know like how i created this ends with you can come here in this page and you can find that all the right options how to write these all things so if we come here common expression language you can check it this check out this and it, it will give you examples like how you want to use like for the string one we can use we start with and with constraint and for boolean also we have multiple values you can figure it out how you want to use and create a condition according to that so we will click on save after that you have the option allow or deny so basically we are saying like if a machine ends with e2 medium then it will allow or you want to deny so if you will allow so only machine type which uh, ends with e2 medium will be allowed to 
uh, to use in your project or on the organization level if you deny so this machine we cannot use this specific machine so let's go with allow and we will click on test constraint before creating a content we can click on test constraint so when you click on test constraint it will run a uh, like simulation it will check what is the, like if uh, anything already violated this policy so we will add a rule we will make it on click on done and click on continue so it will run a simulation report so it will create a report and it will show us like if someone or some resource already uh, like breaking this policy or violating this policy so it will take some time let's wait for that so our simulation report has been done we can go inside it and we can see like if anything violated this policy so if we come down we can see that two vms are there which violated this policy so if you go to this these are the vms which are violating this policy if even we can come inside it and we can see like what machine type they are using so we can see they are using e2 micro and we are only allowing e2 medium that's why uh, these two uh, like breaking our or violating our policy now you have the option to save this constraint or you can just like modify it according to your needs so now even it is saying that we have two violation so now we have one more option whether you want to run it at a dry run policy or we or you want to set this policy so when you uh, set it as a dry run what will happen it will just logs all the violations but it will not deny anything so let's first try dry run policy we will set dry run policy and it will ask us to manage dry run policy we can come here and just make it save same like this uh, and click on set dry run policy so now the policy has been uh, enforced but it is a dry run it is only aud auditing uh, on uh, making all the logs available for us so we, we can check like what resources are being violation and we are I mean, before making like making it live this policy so it is not live as of now we can see it is not enforced but it is only dry run so let's try to create a new vm so it is a dry run it will does, uh, it will not deny to uh, create a vm with another machine type so let's go here and let's choose another machine type once again let's go to e2 micro only and click on create so we can see our vm has been created now if we go to our log explorer we can see there are some warnings are there this is the warning which we can see if we click on this warning and if we go inside this warning we can see it is saying policy violated and we can go inside and status and it is also saying policy violated and we can check out more logs to find out like how it is violated at what we have done wrong so we can see it is saying that this is the constraint e2 medium uh, which like dry run result is denied but live result is allowed because as of now this policy is only as dry run so it is showing it, it must be denied that's why it is showing like policy violated but with the help of this logs we can figure it out whether how to enforce this policy we can make sure that we don't put any policy of a custom policy in that uh, production environment without proper testing so this is a very helpful feature of the dry run so it will just uh, make all the logs available to us and we can make live result also available like what will the live result and what is the dry run result now let's go back and go to live option and click on manage policy and now make it live also so we will add a rule on and we will click done and even we have again option of test changes but we have done that we will click on set policy so it will give again that we are setting a policy just click on set policy and now this policy is enforced and even our dry run is also enforced so it will logs uh it will the logs will be created for both for the dry run also and for the live also now let's create a one more vm so again we will choose e2 micro or you can choose any machine not e2 micro even we go with n1 also and it will be like n1 standard n1 standard one and we will click on create let's see So we can see it already giving a red arrow let's click on this we can see operation denied by custom organization policy e2 medium machine types are allowed only e2 medium machine type are allowed so if you want to like 
denied any other machine type on your specific project organization so that your resource quota or machine quota will not get over so you can enforce this uh, constraint like that and if we come back here and let's see new logs so we can see there is one error log if we go inside that we can see this is that only e2 machine type are allowed has been logged logged here and it will show like this is an error and why it is coming like operation denied by custom organization policy only e2 machine type are allowed and in the warning also it will be logged because we have enabled both both of both of that so like at uh, at of now 5 15 55 it is logged as a warning for the dry run also like that our policy has been violated so like this we can do multiple things and now let's try to create a e2 medium so let's see whether e2 medium is allowed or not so let's go and here we can say e2 medium is selected let's click on create so we can say this vm is being created and it is not giving any error also and even if we click on this we can see it has been successfully created so for e2 it is working properly fine for e2 medium and for any other vm other than this machine type it will give a uh, error so this is our custom constraint so even you we can create one more policy for like uh, vpc network like if you want that uh, automatic uh, networks uh, like if you someone create an automatic network you want to deny at your organization only custom networks can be created so we can do that also so just uh, we will first of all select this automatic subnet creation mode and we will come here we can click on equivalent rest and we can just copy this automatic subnet first true we will copy this and again let's create one more policy and we will click on custom and like uh, automatic network not allowed automatic network and we can give a description also like automatic networks are not allowed after that we have to select the resource type so resource type will be network and we will enforce and create because you know like we cannot go back once we have if we do use a custom we cannot go back to the uh, automatic so that's why we will uh, this is enforce on create we will click on this and let's put it here and make it resource type resource dot create automatic networks equals to true so this is our condition that if resource dot automatic create network equals to true so we will want to deny this even we can first of all we can test also let's click on test constraint before making it live or even dry run policy we click on done and enforcement is on policy is deny let's click and continue it will create a again simulation so our simulation report has been ready let's go inside that and see what are the violations it has checked three sources and we have two violations so we can see i have two projects in which i am using a default network so it is saying that this is the violation so we are okay with it if you are not okay with it you can do the changes to your conditions and we click on save constraint so it will uh, save the constraint but it is again asking whether you want to set dry run policy or the set policy so let's set only uh, dry run you don't want to check for this policy if you want but it is recommended that always use dry run don't use uh, a live policy because it will create issues in your environment if you don't check properly how it will uh, uh, like uh, creating like how it is like enforced so now let's go back to our vpc network i will refresh my page one so let's click on create vpc network once again and we will choose automatic and click on create name let's give it anything i will click on create now so we can see it is giving a like operation denied by custom organization policy or automatic networks are not allowed so like this you can create multiple organization constraint which are not available as of now by google and you can 
make sure like which policy you want to allow and define and all that and also make sure that uh, you run a simulation history and dry run also and make sure and check the logs for how it is working and this is are the resource type available as an art disk file volume is instance network route ssl policy sub networks contracts and a cluster for your gke node pool batch cluster and bucket so you can create multiple and just use rest if rest api in which you can choose the uh, key value pair which you want to use and edit it and use this specific uh, uh like common expression language uh, like a string value boolean value and all that integer string and how make it for and customize according to that and this is a very simple demo for our custom policies if you have any issue or any suggestions just comment it down and i will try to figure it out and help you thank you